All right, we're back. We took a loss last week, but we had a good week in practice this week. Heard Jaden was absolutely lighting up the Miami defense. So let's just see what happens. All right, let's go. Come on, Jaden. Oh, a nice little screen to Diami. Diami actually looks like he might matter this year, which is really good because I've always been a big fan of Diami Brown on the team. Another nice pass to Diami. All right. Is that my boy Terry getting the catch? It's just so nice seeing Jaden throw to Terry. I feel so good for Terry, man. He actually has a solid quarterback for the first time in his life. The ability for running backs to get past the first level still seems to be an issue. I mean, I get that it's the Dolphins and they're all lightning fast, but you don't like to see it. We'll take the running back down, but he's going to get at least three, four yards every single time. And the Dolphins score a touchdown over Benjamin St. Juice. Our defensive backs are a problem. Seriously, can we sign Stephon Gilmore? Like, seriously, call him up. You know, what's he doing right now? B-Rob, baby! I get hyped up every time B-Rob runs, man. Runs like a freight train. Oh, Jaden takes it? All right, Jaden, look. I love you, buddy. I really do. Um, that was a great 13-yard run. However, this is the preseason, so if you could, you know, not put yourself in jeopardy to get hurt, that'd be great. Just, you know, I'm emotionally scarred. Raleigh Patterson makes a field goal. He made one. Oh, and Jeff Driscoll with the wheels? Okay. You know, Driscoll might be making himself a case for QB2. Skylar Thompson throws to HN, just wide open. Like, do we just, you know, I don't know, just not see running backs until, like, several seconds into the play? Yeah, Percy Butler doing this on the uh, drop touchdown catch. Yeah, he didn't do it. He just couldn't catch. He was so wide open. Look at that, Jason Sanders. A good kicker for a team. What's that like? A Driscoll to Luke McCaffrey? What a catch by McCaffrey across the middle. I think McCaffrey could be a very scary option for us this year. You know, Driscoll's doing pretty good considering a line is absolutely getting put on skates on virtually every single play. Does anyone want to block 44 for the Dolphins? Like. He came through untouched and just absolutely demolished the running back. Driscoll tried to run the wheels again and then uh, it didn't work. Driscoll lost it. Oh, uh, that was close. Driscoll's got a nice touch to his passes. I'll give it to him. All right, any other kicker whose name I don't know? Made another field goal. Why did we get rid of Joey Sly? Let's rewind it even more. Why did, get, why did we get rid of Dustin Hopkins? How did the Dolphins pull that jet sweep end around crap and get yardage? We had him eight yards behind the line. How do we not tackle him? And how do we not tackle 35? He ran scot-free untouched for like 20 yards. The defense didn't even seem to know where he even was. What happened to arriving violently? We arrived incoherently. Oh, so they actually saw the running back on that play at the 10-yard line. And we saw the receiver on the screen. Yeah, Driscoll tried to pull off some Caleb Williams type stuff. You're not him, buddy. And they make another field goal. It must be nice having a solid kicker. We get solid quarterback and then we lose a kicker. And our defense gives up another. Another big catch. Oh, Jamin Davis with the fumble? And we recovered? You know, it absolutely blows my mind that Jamin Davis is playing in the third quarter of a preseason game. Our defense was bad last year. He wasn't one of the low points. There's three guys around number 18 for the Dolphins in the middle of the field, but yet the ball just arrives, and then once the ball arrives, you're like, hey, maybe we should tackle him now. Oh, what a sack on the Dolphins quarterback. Way to start the fourth quarter. This fourth quarter defense is actually arriving pretty quickly. Maybe they can teach the first the first defense something. The Dolphins kicker missed a kick? Oh, okay, so we're not the only ones. I would love for Jason Sanders if he wants to hop on a plane to Washington. I love it. Trace McSorley got sacked. All right. It's cool, though, we got him on a team. Maybe we can get that TikTok edit with some preseason plays in the third preseason game. The defense is arriving. I like the way the defense is playing here in the fourth quarter. What is with our running backs over the past couple years? They have a great run, and then as they are going to the ground, the ball pops out in the most, like, unnatural way. Like, there's normal fumbles. These aren't normal fumbles. Like, he's about to hit the ground, and the ball just pops out. But McSorley, a nice throw to the outside, and then McSorley gets killed. The line got absolutely slaughtered. Ooh, a nice little pop pass from McSorley to Wiley for the first down, and an interception. And then a fumble, and we recovered. And look, there's Martavius Bryant. McSorley with the wheels, dumps it off to Wiley again. Okay. These are like those preseason matchups that you just love to see. Are we going to tie it up at the end of the fourth? You got to come down with that 18. You got to come down with that. So we lose another preseason game, which is good because we won all of them last year. We saw how the season went. So you know what? I feel really good, actually, about us losing these games. Um, so what's the recap? Uh, pass rush, man. Defensive backs make me want to cry. Just like last week, you know, let's call up Stephon Gilmore. Let's see what he's up to, you know. Just just check in, see how he's doing. I know Justin Simmons is off the market now, but, you know. Stephon Gilmore, let's let's give him a little bit of a ring. Uh, Jane Daniels, pocket presence looks so good. I, it's so nice having a quarterback. Uh, running backs look good as always. Scary Terry, still Scary Terry. Uh, the line... They, they're, they're there. They they exist. They showed up to the game. I'm having Vietnam flashbacks to last year. 
on to week three. Let's get it. I don't like my mind. It gets me in trouble sometimes. It doesn't know when it's crossed a line. Can't tell what's up to mind. I don't like my mind.